Ever since I was a boy, I have been fascinated by the paranormal, the unexplained. Over the time, I grew a desire to set out to further my research and experience in the field. I have put together a team that shares the same passion. Every explorer has a journey. Thank you for joining ours. We are the Explorers of the Unexplained. kind of line of work then you've probably you know ran across one time to time or even searched one looking to buy one as you know they are a little expensive they range from either 200 to 400 dollars and that's why i don't have one right now my budget just don't fit for that kind of equipment it would be nice it's not needed no gadget is really needed i mean you could you know you can catch a ghost with just a regular camera or a digital audio device but me I like to push it and I like to prove you know that there is stuff out there for the skeptical believers and you know and I just like to give more evidence that's just what I I like to do and in it and it helps with my research you know because I would rather have you know all kinds of evidence on this one thing than just one thing if that makes sense. <laughs> but anyway, we're talking about SLS cameras today. I wanted to show you how you can save a crap ton of money and do the method that I'm doing. I've been looking up, you know, YouTube videos and I've been searching like how to make one exactly. And I kind of took all these videos and kind of like, you know, mashed them together and just figured out my own little way and it worked. And it's using the same equipment, but you know, I'm gonna do it a little different when it's finally done. But right now this is the rough draft, so stick with me. But anyway, we're going to be using the Xbox 360 Connect. Just a basic Connect from Xbox 360. Nothing special. It's also got this is the end cord this hooks into. It's a very special piece right here. But that's one. You need this. This is your SS, SLS camera. Okay. And then you have to, like a lot of sites, they said you had to go online and you had to buy this cord because it was a very special cord and hard to get. I found my cord with the Kinect at the same location. I got lucky. But just in case, you know, check out like vintage game stores, you know, older game stores, not GameStop, nothing like that. Just, you know, older game stores. And they're more likely to have both items you need. Because this is kind of, you know, needed for the Xbox 360. I mean, it's not needed, but a lot of people recommend it. So they actually carry these all the time. So I got lucky. And this is the next cord you need. This is the adapter. And it hooks a USB. So you can hook it into computer or tablet. Or whatever device you need to use it on but it hooks to that special piece cord I was talking about right here on the connect it hooks into this this converts it over so you can make it a USB connection therefore you can hook it to your computer tablet and other device and that will set up the basic setup for your SLS camera so then now the rough part it's not really that hard it's kind of easy but i'm gonna i'm gonna walk you through it stick with me explorers and i'll show you how we can get our own sls camera in the field all right guys so we're moving into the setup phase get your 360 connect all right i kind of wrapped mine up here so it looked presentable for the video but go ahead and get your wires all untangled or whatever Get, get it all situated, ready to hook up. All right. All right, long cord, that's good. You need a long cord for, you know, movability so you can move around and, you know, wherever you want with this because it can be portable, which it will, and that will be the outcome. I'll show you guys how it's done after it's all finished. But this is just how you 
make it, and you can go your own way on it when you figure out how to do it. You don't have to do it my way. That's why I'm not showing you. So you can do it your way, do it how you want it, and if you have comments or anything, leave them below, and I'll try to help you as much as I can. But, anyway, grab your special adapter piece. Alright. You need your special adapter piece right here, which is the one that turns into the USB that's connected. Hook your connect to that piece. They're, they're two orange pieces, so they look, you know, color coordinated, very easy to know that they go together. So pop that on in. Then go ahead and plug up your adapter. Just like that. Then you're going to have a green light. Shows it's working. Shows it's on. It's getting power. And then you just want to hook this into your computer USB. Alright, so hook that into your USB. So you got your connect hook to the adapter. You got it powered to the wall. You got it hooked to the computer in your USB port. Alright. The next thing you want to do is all on the computer. So let me show you. First thing you want to do, hop on your computer, open up Google. Don't have to be Chrome. It can be Google, you know, nothing special. Then you want to type in connect SDK 1.8. All right. And after you type that in, hit enter. It'll take you to this. All right, and this is what you want. And it's a Microsoft.com download. So there's no viruses, it's all legit. There's nothing to worry about. You cannot, you know, get something from this program. So therefore, it's very trusting and it's great to use. And that's what it looks like. So you know. All right, then you just click on that. And it's going to bring you to this page. All right. You just scroll on down. And the orange button, this is what you want to hit. You click on that, download. Then it's going to start downloading. It will show up in the left corner here that it's downloading. And once that's done, then you go back up. Don't open anything yet. You know, you don't need to open anything. So go back up, and then go to this search bar right here, click it, alright, then you want to search for connect, um, connect developer tool list, alright, and I'll go ahead and type that in for you guys too, so make sure 1.82. So connect 1.8 toolkit, hit enter, and then that is your next download. First one that pops up from Microsoft.com. I wouldn't trust any other sites guys because this is you know a legit site so you have no reason to go off site to get this. But go ahead and click on that, same thing, it's like you never even did it go down hit download again all right now this one when you download it it's going to pop up with another screen and it's going to say like um supplements and documents and all this and that that you need you want to go ahead and confirm that and then it will say install and then you just hit the install and that's it then once you get it all done, it should pop up a little um, icon, or it will pop up down here like it did me. Mine got down here at the end of my toolbar. So that's one way to do it. Now once you download the toolkit and the main connect for Windows, you go into your files and you look up um, 
can go recent downloads or downloads but connect studio find that or connect for windows it will say click on it and then you can open up this which is just basic connect to windows and that right now is what it sees because this is my connect so it's kind of shooting off that way all right this is what it sees all right so as you see we got the infrared body signature type screen right here not exactly sure what it's called I'm kind of working with this SLS2 it's my first time actually having one and what better way than making it yourself but let me show you exactly how it works and what it looks like as you see as I go out there it is it picks up my movement really well very well actually so that's good that is what we want and ladies and gentlemen that is an SLS camera as you get closer it even still picks it up it's got very good range especially for the Xbox Connect I mean that's that's not bad that's pretty good so yeah I am pretty far guys and it's still picking me up nicely that's where it drops off so that's not bad that's really good range and it beats paying you know four hundred dollars for something that does this the exact same thing and it picks up little images I've had my kids running around and it, it picks up all kinds of stuff guys so very nice that is just one demonstration now th that's just to connect for Windows so when you close, don't close it, but minimize it. And then you open up the other thing that you downloaded, which is the Connect Studio. It pops up with all of this. Now, this is nice. You got the 3D viewer, the depth viewer, and the color viewer. And you can mess with all of these objects, like all of these items. You can change them any way you want and have your SLS camera working the way you want it in your own personal settings. So, when you get to this, you kind of go up here, bring you in a little closer so you can see. But this right here will connect. This opens up folder so you can save cuz you can record while you use the SLS. With this program it allows you to uh, record as you go. So you want to connect and once you connect you'll go to here the connect explorer D2D and just hit connect okay and that's going to bring it all online now the camera is active in all perspectives and it is ready to go so when I go to like house visits I'm going to be taking this this will definitely be in use and to record all you have to do is hit the little red button right here once you hit that it starts recording and anything you do shows up any imagery shows up in these so let me go back and show you guys exactly what all these little windows look like so you can kinda see for yourself how cool it is all right. So you got the 3D viewer, you got the mapping, the skeleton mapping with the green dots all the way from head to toe. You will definitely be able to tell if something walks by you or, you know, spirits, anything. This thing is going to capture so much. I have so much faith in it. And I'm glad it worked. So there you guys go. That is your SLS camera. If you have anything you need to ask or any, you know, comments, just leave them below and I'll try to help you as much as I can get yours set up. Alright?
but that's it guys I mean you have thermal 3d viewer you have the you have all kinds of stuff and very very easy to obtain all of these items and and the best part about it is it all cost me probably I think it was twenty two dollars guys that's it twenty two dollars for an SLS camera that you can make you can set up you can you can do whatever you want with it after you do this it's yours all right not no four hundred dollars five hundred dollars I mean I'm sure that they have you know their better quality but this it does exactly what they do so I mean I'm going to use it I'm going to try it I'll let you guys know how it goes and if it's bad I'll let you know that way you're not wasting your time but once I get all mine set up mine is going to be a portable I'm gonna end up getting a little tablet just for it and I'm gonna hook it on to like a little base form thing so you can walk around with it and it's gonna be portable but right now it's all desktop laptop you know but we're gonna get there so thank you guys for watching go ahead and check out the videos and I appreciate you guys very much for your support please like and subscribe for those that do thank you and we have a ton of more investigations coming guys I just thought I would try to jump on leave a few videos of stuff I find and stuff I do to try to help you guys because we're all a team and that's it I appreciate your time, Explorers. Have a good day.